and welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with another Taobao haul. So this time around, my Taobao haul, I didn't really buy a lot of stuff. I guess total is about less than 100 of me because I'm really cutting short on my spending because I haven't been working and I kind of have trouble with my scoliosis recovery for the like first one and a half months. So yeah, if you want to know more about scoliosis, you can comment down in the comment section below. I'll see if I can do like a Q&A video next time. Now we'll just dive into the first section of the video first. We'll start with the clothes. So for the first piece of clothes that I bought from Taobao was this pink furry crop top which is super cute. Um, there is a lot of these furs attached to the clothes. But one bad thing about this top is it's a little bit too tight. As you can see over here, the cutting is definitely a little bit too off. Um, this thing here is supposed to be at the edge of my shoulder, but it's not. But it's still cute. It's a very nice outfit to wear. It's very easy to pair this, personally. I actually wear it with this black short. So I actually bought two sets of couple D from Taobao, and this is the first set. I already hand over the another piece of my boyfriend, so I only have this with me. It's a astronaut design, and then the rest is just plain all the way. This is made of 100% cotton. I like the cutting, honestly, it's um, quite okay for me. I don't like tight fitting, so oversized is the best. This is size M. Um, my body size in general is like a XXS to XS, so this is okay for an oversized tee. This is the next set of couple tee that I bought. It's black color this time with this cartoon print over here. I am definitely the one that always chase after my boyfriend with knife and he's the one that's running away from me. This is so freaking cute. I love this design a lot but the cutting is kind of not my style. I bought this in size S which I kind of regret. I should have bought M because it's almost fitting on me and the length is a little bit too short I don't like this, I should have just got the M1 but it's still really cute though, this is also made out of 100% cotton so this time around I also got a bra from one of the sellers this is like a cute bra I would say this is how the back looks like, there is no buckles but then they actually have a buckle in front for you over here so if you want to wear it as a strapless bra, you just remove the strap and just wear it like that then you just buckle it up over here so this helps to secure the bra in place so that it doesn't fall off and it also helps to lift your breasts up because their padding is quite thick and then yeah overall it's just really good this is definitely a good buy it's also very affordable so another piece of outfit that i got it's inspired by dia i really love her fashion a lot i remember she probably wore something similar to this so i got this too which is really cute but i don't think this is the best material though because i washed this and after i wash it i feel like the material just expand when I received this. It was super small, but after I wash, it just enlarged a little. I still like it, but it's not the best material. So hopefully, I can find another seller that sells something like this, but in a better quality, of course. This is how it looks like at the back. It's like a V cutting at the back. So this is the next piece of outfit. It's a purple crop halter top. Super cute. I love this furry material. I'm just literally in love with almost every furry coat. But then I'm a little disappointed with the cutting on top because I find it too narrow. I was expecting it to be more wide so it can like cover up my, my side meat so it doesn't look so revealing. That's why I'm actually wearing a white tube top inside just in case it slipped but overall it's still kind of cute I will still wear these at most I just wear a tube top inside to protect myself from revealing too much but yeah it's still a very nice outfit I can't wait to wear this one day alright I think this is the last piece of top that I bought from Taobao which looks like this um, this requires a lot of effort to wear it because of the string the amount of time it takes for me to tie this top is honestly not worth it because 
I end up not be able to fit this thing on my body well. As you can see, there's like a gap at the side here. The peak to peak point should be tighter on me. But sadly, it's loose. So I might actually need to alter the sides. I like this top though. It's, it's really cute. I like the design. Uh, this is how it looks like at the back. One good thing is the, the strap is adjustable. So you can either tighten it to the max or loosen it a bit more depending on how much gap you need over here. Alright, we are done with the clothes, so we can move on to socks. So I got two pairs of socks, one white and one black knee-high. Well, I'll just go ahead and try it out. Um, I just put it on, one white, one black, so it's easier to compare. It's both the same seller, of course, and both of them are knee-high. I guess they are not that sheer, and the material is really smooth. I like it. Okay, apart from socks, I also bought this. It's a hairline shadow powder applicator. I haven't actually tried this, but let's try taking out one box to see how does this work. We'll try it on my hand first. Oh, oh, the powder is coming out. I'm not sure you guys can see this clearly or not, but yeah, the powder definitely works. It really gives this very airbrush type of effect. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try this on my hairline. Let's see if this covers up. Okay, it took me a while, but it really covers up a lot. I spray quite an amount though, so it really works on me. And I guess the color also blends in with my current hair color too. Okay, we are almost coming to an end to this video. So I'm left with accessories, which I didn't buy a lot, but I still bought some. And the first one is a hair accessory. It's a hair clip. I bought like two clips. I can just clip it on my hair so that my hair can look less boring. It's super cute. Look at this. Okay, next will be earrings. I only bought like two types of earrings. One is this one which I'm already wearing it right now. It's super nice and sparkly but then I don't think the material is very good. It's not surgical steel or stainless steel or anything. I'm pretty sure it will get rusty very quickly. Next earring that I bought is this one. In the picture, it definitely looked much more like not so cheap and plasticky type but now that I receive it, I'm pretty sure this is made out of low quality earring. This is how it looks like. The ribbon is a little bit too big on my ear. So this is definitely not it. Okay, moving on. Other than earrings, I also got myself some necklaces. Um, the first one is this one. It's a pearl necklace with a heart shape in the middle. I'm starting to like this style of necklace honestly because it's so easy to put it on. You don't need anyone to help you. It's so convenient. Ta-da! You got it! It gives this very bougie look so if you match it with the right piece of dress, it will definitely look very nice. Last one is this necklace. Same thing, just hook it in at the front. This is how it looks like. Super cute. Obviously the necklace don't match with the top that I'm wearing right now but it's still really cute. I like it! Alright guys, that's all I have for the Taobao haul this time. I hope you guys enjoy it because I definitely enjoy it. I like most of the clothes that I get, even though some of the material is not the best, but the design, etc. It's really nice. So I have no regrets for this round of purchase. Anyways, if you guys have any videos that you want me to do just feel free to comment down in the comment section below i'll see if i can do it for you but if i can't forgive me i won't be doing it <laughs> as usual if you like this video or me in general subscribe to my youtube channel like this video and follow my socials and yeah i'll see you guys soon in my next video bye